Hello friends, do you know a PLC of any Mac can communicate with the IO cards of any Mac? Confused? Let me explain you in a better way. There are times we face or there's a need to hook up a third party system with main PLC system. Yes, it is very much possible. You can make a Siemens PLC to communicate with ABB IO cards or vice versa. Or any make of PLC can communicate with any make of IO cards. Here you can see on the back screen, the master PLC which communicating with a slate devices of different make. Here the system will perform like the single OEM system without a hitch. These say slave devices may be a remote IO cards, a VFD or any device from any manufacturer which supports profibus communication. This is the beauty of profibus communication which lets you enjoy the interoperability of control system. The only thing you require to set up a profibus communication between third party vendor device is GSD or GSD ML file which a manufacturer generally provides with a slave device to which we want to communicate with master PLC. Let's check out what is GSD file and how it is written and incorporated to uh, in communication to take place. Here GSD stands for General Station Description File. It is an electronic device data sheet or device database file that helps master device to identify its connected slave device. That how slave device is going to communicate with the master. In a simplest form, the GSD file when provided or uploaded to master device. It tells the master that I am a such a slave device from different manufacturer than you and I will function like that. So simple. It's a kind of introduction to master device uh, by slave device. Got it? It is an ASCII text file that contains device specific data such as uh, vendor's identification information, supported baud rates, supported method lens, number of input output data, meaning of diagnostic message, timing information plus option and feature supported data formats and available input output signal. And this is the file which is not kept or downloaded on device itself, but usually comes on a separate disk or drive. Each entry written in files represents a feature supported by device. When the file uploaded or installed on a master device, the master identifies the information of slave device by means of some standard keywords, which is written in GSD file. Some of the keywords are mandatory, uh, for example, vendor name, etc. and others are optional. The GST file enables the master device to interact with its data records that is input and outputs. For example, we have a VFD which is connected with the Profibus master PLC. Now you can read the analog input output data to read the, uh, to read the actual RPM and current. And uh, you have a status where to read the status of VFD whether it is healthy or there is some fault. And uh, control world to issue the command to the VFD for start stop and to change some configuration VFD. GST file have a standard file format which has been described as per GFD, uh, basically Profibus guidelines. A GSD editor software assists the manufacturer to write GSD file for Profibus DP slave devices. The editor includes a syntax and a semantic checks according to GSD specification. GSD editor can be downloaded free of charge from the Profibus website. GSD file for Profinet devices are written in XML format and are called GSDML. The same way GSDML editing can be accomplished with standard XML editor software provided free. Now let's discuss about the GSD file structure, the way it is written and in standard format. It contains internal data structure of devices such as vendor name, model name, version number, baud rate, DP features, IO related information and diagnostic data. The first thing you can notice in its file name which appears in language used for written GSD file. The following rule is applied for GSD file names. Here you can see a file name is abc underscore double zero at triple zero eight dot gsd. That is a file name. Now here abc underscore is company identifier. Here company abc is underscore. And it uh, four characters reserved for the date. 0008 is the ident number. It identifies the type of DP devices you are using. And always four characters reserved and represented in hexadecimal. Dot gsd is the extension. Default language is English. When you search on internet for a specific GSD file, you may come across various extensions of file GSD star. GSD file have language specific instruction. The last letter is the language in which file is written. Here GSD represent default format for English, GSE for English, GSS Spanish, Portuguese, uh, French, Italian. When device is connected on Profimed, GSD ML files are used. GSD ML files are nothing but GSD files written in XML format. Here the properties of a device are described with keywords and the values as we discussed earlier. Master devices uses these keywords to identify its function. 
the first keyword therefore indicates the version number of GSD file. Then comes vendor name and model number revision. The manufacturer's name, model name and revision for devices are limited to 32 characters as a visible string. Then comes revision number 05, version identifier for the DP device. The revision number here must match the revision number in slave specific diagnosis. The ident number identifies the type of DP, DP device. Every field device is characterized by an indent number allocated to it by Profibus International Organization. An indent number may be ordered from Profibus International. Then come protocol identifier, this is a zero, zero stand for Profibus DP and uh, here you can assign 16 to 255 values for different IP uh, protocol of DP bus. Then come the station type, whether it is uh, slave device or master device, zero for DP slave, one for master device. Before commissioning a Profibus system, a station is assigned with a unique address. The Profibus address of a DP slave can be adjusted by two ways. Either through switch provided on the devices and that is manual process and by sending a special telegram by the master to the Profibus slave device. Here address 126 is reserved for the default addresses for the DP slave. The second function is not necessarily supported by every DP slave. Basically, a GSD or GSDML file lets allow the slave devices to communicate with master controller. So, the equipment from different vendor can be accommodated to control system with no hassle, while allowing you to enjoy the full features of slave devices. Installation of GSD file follows simple procedure. Menu driven programming package allows you to install GSD file and communicate with the master device. Friends, any doubt or query you can post in comment section. Sure, we will discuss and learn. Keep watching, keep sharing instrumentation and channel. Bye for now.